yeah welcome back now this is a new question we are also told to solve this linear homogeneous system it's a homogeneous system in which the coefficient matrix the contains constants now to solve the system the difference between this system and the previous one is that the previous one was a two square matrix while this is a three square matrix but the same procedure is the same procedure we're going to follow so how do we do it so the first step um, which is the solution is find find your a so from here when we compare this to we have x prime equals ax so you observe that this is going to be my a so my a which is the coefficient matrix is negative 1 negative 1 and 0 you have 3 all over 4 negative 3 all over 2 then you have 3 you have 1 all over 8 1 over 4, negative 1 over 2. So I've gotten my coefficient matrix. Now step 2. You find find the eigen values. Eigen values of find eigen values of A. And we said find the eigen values of A just simply implies solve A minus lambda i equals 0. So we want to solve this. So we have a minus lambda i equals 0. Now this implies deducting lambda from all the diagonal elements. And then what we have is, so it's determinant sign, minus, uh, minus 1, minus lambda, minus 1, 0. So we have 3 over 4, minus 3 over 2, minus lambda, you have 3, 1 over 8, 1 over 4, minus half minus lambda so we want to find the determinant of this and then equate to zero then solve now finding the determinant of the three square matrix what we would have is lambda cube plus three lambda squared then plus eleven lambda all over four plus three all over four so this is what we have equals equals zero and then when you point your calculator to solve this cubic equation what we're going to have is lambda 1 equals negative 3 all over 2 lambda 2 equals negative 1 and then lambda 3 equals negative 1 all over 2 now what you'd observe is that all the three eigen values we got this is negative 3 over 2 negative 1 and this is negative half they are all distinct that is the eigen values they are distinct. They are distinct. Now, since the eigen values are distinct, it implies that the general solution of the linear homogeneous system is going to always take this form, like we have been doing: c1 k1 e to the power lambda 1 t plus c2 k2 e to the power lambda 2 t plus c3 k3 e to the power lambda 3 lambda 3 t. So let's continue. And we said the k1 here is the eigen vector of lambda 1 k2 is the eigen vector of this while k3 is the eigen vector of lambda 3 so that brings us to the next step to find find the eigen eigen vectors the corresponding eigen vectors sorry the corresponding eigen vectors and then that implies that to find the corresponding it simply implies you want to solve a minus lambda i x equals 0 so let's start with the first one so for lambda equals so which is the first one lambda equals negative 3 over 2 so for lambda 1 equals negative 3 over 2 so a minus lambda i x so as before the matrix we're going to have here is going to be half negative 1 0 you have 3 all over 4 0 3 then you have 1 all over 8 1 all over 4 then you have a um, this, should, this should be it should be 1 so all we have done here is we have replaced lambda with 3 all over negative 3 over 2 so that's what we did here and then multiplied by x so we have x y z equals 0 0 0 
that's the zero the zero we have we have here and then we said to solve this we will reduce this matrix here. when we will reduce the matrix what we we'll obtain is one zero four you have zero one zero one two then you have zero 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 into x y z equals zero 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 and then we said the next thing after we're we'll reducing the matrix is to rewrite the whole matrix equation in equation form that's the whole matrix this this whole stuff that we have here so this is going to be one times x which is x um, plus four z then we have equals zero we also have y plus two z equals zero now looking at these two things here we'd observe that the free variable is also z so the free the free variable is z so since the free variable is z you set z to any number except zero so let's set z to one i love i love number one it's my favorite number so if z equals one then y equals minus two z which is minus two and then x equals minus four z which is minus four so my y is negative two and my x equals negative four so therefore i've gotten my first agent vector as k1 equals x which is negative four negative two and then one now we move on to the next one the next agent value you want to find the corresponding agent vector for is lambda two equals negative negative one so we we'll say for for lambda two equals negative one a minus lambda i times x equals so when we do that what we're going to obtain for this side here is um uh, what do we have here so we have zero yeah should have seen that well zero negative one zero then we have 3 all over 4 we have negative 1 all over 2 we have 3 we have 1 all over 8 as I'm subtracting by lambda lambda from the diagonals 1 all over 4 and then we have 2 times the x that we have here which is x y z equals equals 0 0 0 so we say at this stage we will reduce the matrix. So we will reducing the matrix. What we would obtain is one zero four. So you have zero one zero. Then you have zero zero zero. This is what you have times x y z equals zero zero zero. And then when we write this in matrix form or in in a composite form, that is equation form. So this is one times x. That is x plus 4z equals 0 and then we have y equals y equals 0 now in this case here the free variable the free variable is is z so we're going to set set z to be set z equals 1 so we want to set z equals 1 so when z equals 1 my x equals minus 4z which is minus 4 and then the y is constant here is zero. So I've been able to find my k2. So my k2 is my x, which is negative four, my y is zero, and my z is, is one. So we want to find the next, the last agent vector that corresponds to lambda three equals negative half. So we we'll say for lambda three equals negative half. The equation one to solve is a minus lambda i x equals zero. So this is going to give us minus half, negative one. You have zero. You have three all over four. You have negative one. You have three. Then you have one all over eight, one all over four, and then we have zero times x. Our x here y z equals equals zero 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 
So this is exactly what we have. And then we said to solve this system here, the first thing we're going to do is you will reduce this coefficient matrix. And then on row reducing that, what we're going to have is we have 1, we have 0, and then we have 12 all over 5. We have 0, we have 1, we have negative 6 all over 5, and we have 0, we have 0, we have 0. So this is what we have times our x, y, z, that's x, y, z equals 0, 0, 0. And this is what we have. And then when we write this in, in equation formats, we have 1 times x, that is x, 12 over 5 times z. So that's plus 12 all over 5z equals 0. Then we have for the lower one, that is um, y minus 6 all over 5z equals equals 0. So what we'll observe in this equation is that the free variable we have here is only z. So the free the free variable is z. So since the free variable is z, I'm going to set z to any number. So like I said, I've been using 1 so far. So if I set z equals 1, then my y equals, so bringing this to this side, we have 6 all over 5z. And then since z equals 1, so my y is going to be 6 over 5. And then similarly, my x here is going to be negative 12 all over 5z. And then since z equals 1, so this equals negative 12 all over 5. So with that, that brings me to my third digit vector. So my x is negative 12 all over 5. My y is 6 all over 5. And my z is 1. But like I said, I you, you could leave your answer like this and then use it like that. Or you could change all of them to whole numbers just by multiplying the whole um, entries here by 5. So you have negative 12, 6, and then 5. So k3 corresponds to corresponds to lambda 3. So based on our solutions, so we now have a general solution to be x equals c1 into negative 4, 2, 1, e to the power negative 3 over 2t, then plus the next one for lambda 2 equals negative 1, the aging vector we got was negative 4, 0, 1. So we have c2, negative 4, 0, 1, and that's for e to the power negative t. And then similarly for the last one, which is c3 minus 12, 6, 5, e to the power negative half, yeah, negative half here, e to the power negative half, negative half t. And then that is the general solution of of the original linear homogeneous system that we are given, which is this here, and that completes the problem.